Great day, everybody. My name is G Brown, Lifestyle Changer. I am a paparazzi consultant. My number is 78240. I am an independent paparazzi consultant, that is. Um, I am doing a video in regards to how to set up your Square store. For anybody that's on my team and you have um, already signed up for your Square, you utilize someone's link prior to signing up. If you didn't do your sponsor and, or you need someone um, that you can sign up under, I'll be more than happy to share my link with you. But right now, just go with your sponsor because they should have a square link. Then that way you will get $1,000 um, in free swipes. So there'll be no two point anything in regards to utilizing it. I'm here, now keep in mind, I've already done this, so I'm going to talk you through it. All right, team, so here uh, you will sign in. For me, I go right here to my dashboard. I remove uh, all of these things here. I, I remove them prior to because you can have all your widgets up here and uh, tell you your sales and all that other stuff. But we're just going to stick right here. We're going right here to items. So the question was asked of me, do you have to individually place these items in? And the answer is yes. It is very simple. You will click create an item. What I normally do at this time, I have another tab open from my back office. If you go ahead, first of all, you should have your kids doing this. Hello, because from the age of 7 to 17, you know they are a tax write-off for your business that you can legally pay them. Now, that's a whole nother topic, and you, if you need to reach out to me and ask me in regards to how you write them off on your taxes business-wise. We ain't talking about their earned income credit and writing them off on that side. We're talking business-wise, and they are a large write-off for you if you have children. We're not talking grands unless they are legally yours. Okay, so at this point, I do a lot of copy and paste. I copy... Uh, copy it, right click, put the item over in here, click on category, you will see the different categories and stuff like that. Make sure you have, if you have the Z collection, go ahead, uh, shipping, make sure you have that in there. A shipping tab, rings, fashion fix, whatever. When you click on edit, you can drag and drop the picture over into it. When you go down, here is where you put your price, and then here is where you have, if you order 10 of them, 20 of them, 25, whatever, click this tracking, put it on there. Uh, if you want an alert, especially for your blockbusters, because blockbusters, you know that we can uh, reorder them, you can have an alert that tells you, hey, you only have one of these left in inventory right now. People have uh, purchased those. I am going so far as to do the SKU. When you get your uh, inventory, there's a barcode on the inventory. So um, I was just thinking, okay, I do this, but then what if I'm doing a vending event? How do I keep up with that? So I'm going to take my business to another level, just like if you're going into Macy's and where... Uh, well, I'll be able to uh, hit a barcode with a little gun and keep up with all of mine. So for me, I would put in a SKU number. You just click done and then save that item and then bam, I'm not keeping that one. It's in there. And so here you are. They're all in there. I put pictures with it and everything. All right. Next thing you're going to do is scroll down and you're going to go to the online store. Now, my store is set up. When you first click this button, you're going to have three apps down at the bottom. Uh, WooCommerce, Commerce, Big Something, and somebody else. And there's um, you get a discount because you are going through Square. That part is up to you. There's also a link up under them that says your Square online store. That's the one that I click, accept it. And it took me here. Right here. Okay. So 
I just set this up. So of course there's no orders. There's none of that. Uh, when you go into settings, this is where, this is my link here for my online store. All right. Uh, it did have a dash in it. I took the dash out. I didn't want to use a dash or you can purchase a domain, but right now squareup.com slash store slash G Brown. Cause I brand myself. All right. I have a flat charge of $3. Here's my return policy, uh, return items within three days for a refund or a store credit issued if returned within seven days, no refunds after seven days. So there you are. That's it. My preparation time. You can do a pickup. I did my hours of operation, which is 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, people just use their um, discretion. So then you go to store editor. When you go to store editor, mine is already done, but this is where it'll be. You have these four choices. I didn't start with this one. I started with, I think the downtown one. And once I put everything in and I just clicked on the different ones, I found where I like, uh, this one. So that's the one I went with. All right. So you can add different sections. Uh, these are just the same, the one shop about contact. So if you want to shop, bling it on, takes you right there. Or you just could have scrolled down. Doesn't matter. So here you are. Now let me show you when you click on an item, this particular one, guess what? Oh, wait, you're looking at it from, wait a minute. That's not a good example. I got to do the store view. Anyway, all of these little things you're able to click and change. All right, so import items. That's what you're going to click on. You're going to import from library. You're going to click on that. And then bam, everything that you put in in your square, here it is. There it is. Scroll, scroll, scroll. It's all right there. Now, it's when you put it in, it's going to be grayed out like this. You have to go and individually click this. And then you're going to do whether it's you, they can do strictly shipping or they can pick up. You don't have anything electronically that you can send them. You don't have any files, different things like that. So you have to go through and click these different items. I have some, a few grayed out. Example, my fashion fix, it's grayed out. Click save and then bam. Uh, I have a vending event. I put that in there. Uh, just a little bit, contact information. It's, you just follow the plug and play of what it says. Now let's get a store view. This is what the people see when they log on. All right. So they get here and it's like, oh, I like this. Oh my goodness. They click on it and then it tells them that it's out of stock because on my end, I've sold the last one. I didn't take it out. All that's going to happen when the shipment comes in, I'm just going to change the number. And then when they click on it, then I'll show you again. So they can pick up in the store or they can choose sh uh, shipping. There's a $3 flat rate per order, ships within two days, all right? And, but then when you go, let me show you something else. All right, so mine says, ta uh, the items are nickel and lead free, taxes included in the price, and there is a $3 flat shipping, five items or less. Uh, Here's one that is in stock. They can add to the cart and it tells them the exact same thing. They really, really like this. Guess what? They can share it on Facebook, Twitter. They can share it on any of those things. How cool is that? And then they can, you can just share uh, your store all together. And there you go. And when you hit share, then of course, it's going to take you right on over to your Facebook. Do whatever, however you want to do. Let people know what it is that you're doing. Ta-da. Then I go back to the editor. No, nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to get out of here altogether. So that's how simple it is, guys. So you need to have this done. This just tells everybody on uh, Tasteful Tuesday, shop with me at 7 p.m. You guys know that I go live uh, on Facebook at that time. So this is very simple to do can take up a little bit of time, but once it's done, because please keep in mind, inventory 
you must keep up with how many pieces that you've sold, how many pieces that were stolen, how many pieces were broken, how many pieces did you buy, how many pieces did you give away, how many pieces did you cash uh, log out as a promo, meaning you're the one walking around with it on because you get to write those off too. All the jewelry and stuff that you buy, you get to write that off because you need to model it. So keep it, all that in mind when you are you have a business. So it's very important uh, that you keep up with your inventory. When you walk into uh, Walmart or anything like that, when they're going through inventory, you see those pieces of paper telling them how many boxes of cereal, how many of this, how many of that. They're counting. They don't see the importance, but they have to keep up with that inventory. We're pretty easy because we just need to know the pieces because they're all $5. It's nice to know how many rings, so on and so forth, but the bottom line is if you have 1,000 pieces, you have 1,000 pieces because they're all valued at the same price. So that's the great part of it. But you are a store. You have to conduct yourself as a store as a business person. So I hope this helped you. If you have any additional questions, go ahead and reach out to me. I will be more than happy to answer them. Thanks guys for watching.